Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 841. And if you want to download this workbook, 836 to 847, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to count how many values in a data set are greater than one standard deviation above the mean. Now, the mean and standard deviation, those are statistics we can calculate. Now, we're going to assume this is a sample, and so the mean. What does it mean? It's just the average. Now, the average, we use the average function. And the average is add them all up, divide by the count. Now, what is an average? Actually, I'm going to click in that first cell and Control-Shift-Down arrow, and then Control-Enter. What does an average do? Now, I have these values randomizing here. The mean gives us one value that we can use to represent all the data points. So here's a bunch of data, and we can say, hey, the average is 43, or the mean is 43. That means we have one value we can use then to, dis to use in discussions or reports or whatever. That's the purpose of a mean, a typical value that represents all the data points. Standard deviation, and we'll assume this is a sample, so we'll use STDEV. Now, in 2010, there are new functions, STDEV stdev.s for sample and .p for population. The older ones, stdev, was that was for the sample. This is called a compatibility function. And this one was for the population. So I'm going to use the new one. I like those same values. Control, Shift, Down arrow. I'm going to Shift, Enter. Shift, Enter puts the formula in the cell and moves your cursor up. Standard deviation is a measure that tells you how much variation there is or dispersion in the data. But more specifically, it tells you how fair the mean represents its data points. Now, I have lots of stats videos. And you can go watch this one right here. It tells you all about standard deviation. And there's a whole playlist of stats video. All right, so how do we get one standard deviation above? Well, if that's the mean, and this is standard deviation, we take the mean, add one standard deviation, and that gives us the marking point of um, at which point we're exactly one standard deviation above the mean. So I'm going to simply add these two. Alt equals is the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. Notice I have these values uh, randomizing. If I hit the F9 key, it's randomizing. Now, how do we count? We're going to use the count if, but there it is. That's the marking point. We added mean plus one standard deviation. We got that. So our goal is to count anything greater than that. So we simply say count if. We're just counting, right? The range, all of these numbers, Control, Shift, Down arrow, comma. And what is the criteria? Well, I need to use the uh, comparative operator greater than, and I have to put it in double quotes. And then I have to join it with the join symbol ampersand, which is Shift 7 this value right here. That says I will count how many values there are above the uh, one standard deviation mark. All right, So if I hit my F9 key, you can see things are randomizing. All right, so that, that's the formula, straight enough. Well, let's just take this one bit further. How about if we want to highlight all of the values greater than one standard deviation? We're going to use conditional formatting in the uh, active cell at the top. Make sure your active cell is at the top, but you have the whole thing highlighted, home, styles, conditional formatting, new rule. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt-O-D. New rule, use formula. I'm going to say in this uh, text box here, click on that cell. Notice it is absolute. So I'm going to hit the F4 key to get rid of those dollar signs. I want that as a relative cell reference. And I'm going to say, if the value in the cell is greater than that value right there. Now, that is a relative cell reference. That is absolute. In the dialog box, this true-false logical formula is being stored. But it's as if it is in the cell. And as it gets copied down in memory from the dialog box, each cell gets the same question. Am I greater than the one standard deviation above? If this logical statement comes out true, then it gets the formatting. I'm going to click on that formatting. Click OK, click OK, click OK. So I just randomize this, because then you can see that it is all dynamic. It's all working. Every single value that we see highlighted is greater than one standard deviation above the mean. All right, we'll see you next video.